We're going across to another very important story coming in from India. The investigation in the killing of Indian politician and businessman Baba Siddiqui has revealed new details as to how the plan to the murder the form of Maharashtra state minister was hatched. Latest reports suggest that Siddiqui's killers were paid in advance and they were delivered their firearms to day, two days prior to the shooting. Reports also indicate that the weapons used in the killing were delivered through a prepaid courier. The shooters also received a sum of 50,000 rupees or that's about $600. Police also said that the accused were carrying pepper spray which they intended to use on Siddiqui before opening fire. However, contrary to the plan, one of the accused, Shiv Kumar, opened fire before they could use the pepper spray. Police have also arrested three accused in the case so far, Gurmil Baljeet Singh from Haryana, Dharam Raj Rajesh Kashyap from Uttar Pradesh and Praveen Lonkar from Pune. They have claimed affiliation with the Lawrence Bishnoi group. A total of six individuals have been identified by the Mumbai police in connection with the murder. The investigating officials also revealed that a plan to kill Siddiqui was formed in a Patiala jail with the help of Lawrence Bishnoi gang with Mohammed Zishan Akhtar named as the mastermind. It has also come to light that the accused Praveen Lonkar, who was arrested from Pune, as we told you, played a key role in hiring shooters for the attack. Praveen's brother, interestingly, Shrabham, had taken responsibility for the attack in a social media post, which was later, of course, deleted. Shubham, who is also one of the accused, had issued a warning to all those associated with the actor Salman Khan. Meanwhile, the Mumbai police has conducted a test on one of the accused, Dharam Raj Kashyap, and has confirmed that he is not a minor. Earlier, the accused were produced before the court by crime branch, where Dharam Raj's lawyer claimed that he was a minor. After which, the court had ordered rather an ossification test for Kashyap. Now, to get us the latest, we have been joined by a principal correspondent, Disha Shah, on the phone line. Disha, what is the latest you're hearing in this case? Absolutely. What we know for the fact that there are about 15 police teams that have been formed to nab uh, the remaining three accused in this matter. Like you rightly pointed out, total six people are involved as for Mumbai police and three already have been arrested. But the mastermind behind the... Uh, this entire case uh, is absconding, is on the run, and the police teams have have panned out, especially in five states uh, of the country, to see where all uh, they can find the remaining three accused uh, in this concern. Because remember, this was not an overnight uh, uh, or something which happened on the spot. This was something which was a pre-planned murder, according to the Mumbai police. The accused here in concern, especially the shooters, they arrived to one and a half to two months early in Mumbai. They also kept an eye on day-to-day -day activities of uh, Baba Siddiqui as to where he is going, who all he is meeting. All the every all his social activities was also very closely watched and monitored for. And that is why, in fact, they were also paid advance of rupees fifty thousand and rupees two lakh was promised to them that they will get after the work gets done. So the main mastermind behind this needs to be nabbed is what the Mumbai police is. One of the major focus remains right now and that is why the Mumbai police team is investigating all the possible angles right from the motive to another also angle about uh, the positive, uh, about uh, the slum rehabilitation project as well uh, because that is also another angle which is emerging at this point. So all of these details are being worked out. The three accused who are going to be custody the 21st of this month are being questioned about further about their gang members, about when they were contacted first and who contacted them first. Everything is being questioned right now as we speak. Right. We would like to tell our viewers this is a developing story and Disha Shah, a correspondent from Mumbai, has been tracking the story very closely and she will get us updates as and when we get more. Disha, thank you so much for joining us. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.